A few years later, as there had been no major contact with the Decepticons since the death of the Fallen, the Autobots helped set up Energon detectors in Earth's major cities to watch for a Decepticon presence. The Autobots, now common knowledge among Earth's people, helped out with major human threats. After Colonel Lennox learned of something alien at Chernobyl, the Autobots traveled there and encountered Shockwave and his driller after retrieving a mysterious part. After Shockwave was driven off, Optimus was shocked to discover that it was an engine part from the long-lost Ark, which had crashed on the moon. He and Ratchet traveled to the Ark and recovered five of the Space Bridge Pillars along with Sentinel Prime who was revived by the Matrix of Leadership. Sentinel eventually revealed himself to be a traitor murdered Ironhide and used the space bridge to bring an army of over 200 Decepticons to Earth. Earth's governments forced the Autobots off the planet, with the Decepticons attempting to learn the Autobots' plans to fight back via SAM. Without revealing any plans, the Autobots left Earth in the Xantium and were apparently destroyed by Starscream. The Decepticons, led by Megatron and Sentinel Prime, took over the human city of Chicago unopposed and prepared to bring Cybertron to Earth to use Earth's natural resources and its people as slaves to rebuild their home. The Autobots, who faked their deaths to trick the Decepticons, arrived in Chicago and linked up with a team of humans led by Sam Witwicky and former Nest soldier Robert Epps who were determined to fight even against overwhelming odds. With the help of the team and later Nest, the Autobots launched an attack on the city and together the Autobots and humans managed to kill Laserbeak, the Driller, Starscream, Soundwave, Barricade, Shockwave and many other Decepticons, losing only K and possibly Wheelie and Brains in the process. Optimus Prime battled Sentinel Prime and though Optimus was defeated and nearly killed, Megatron suddenly turned on Sentinel and severely maimed him, having realized that he would never be able to remain leader of the Decepticons as long as Sentinel was alive. Meanwhile, the control pillar was destroyed by Bumblebee, and the collapsing space bridge destroyed Cybertron and the remaining Decepticon forces in Chicago. Megatron then tried to deceive Optimus into thinking that he wanted peace, but Optimus saw through the ruse and killed his seemingly eternal foe. Optimus then terminated Sentinel, 